What if I told you for only $15, you could get great custom stream branding without having to pay an individual or learn how to use you know, complicated programs such as Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, so now we're over at the computer and we are on Placeit's website and we are going to build some stuff for a stream. And the cool part is, like I said in the beginning of this video, it's only gonna cost you $15 if you just decide to use everything and make everything in one month. If you decide to wanna use it for a longer period of time, yes, they have a yearly subscription or you can keep your monthly subscription and pay as you go until you get to a place where you feel like your stream is where you want it, which is some really cool features. So we're gonna go to the gaming tab and we're gonna make an OBS stream overlay. That's the first thing I kind of want to do here. So we're going to take a look through this list and see if there's anything that kind of stands out and looks cool. And the cool thing about this is they're really, really customizable. There's a lot of stuff you can do with these things to really make them yours. You can change the colors of a lot of them, the text. There's just a bunch of stuff. I, I kind of like this one here. We're going to go with this one. This one looks pretty cool. And you can also start with a blank canvas. That's something that's brand new. We might actually do a video on that sometime soon because that'd be really cool. So what I'm gonna start with is changing everything to what my stream would be. And my stream would be Flux 2D. And I want that in caps because I think that looks cooler. Um, so cool, we, we've got that there. That looks pretty neat. We actually, on the right hand side, we can change the main graphic. So we could change it to any one of these. And it looks like they're all in the same size which is gonna be neat. Now, some of our text is gonna get blocked mainly because it is black, so we can change that. I'm gonna go ahead and probably go with this because I kind of like the look of this. So let's change this from black to a white color. And where it says twitch.tv, let's change this to flux underscore 2D. We'll change that to white as well, because I don't like it being gray down there. And we also have that Twitch logo. I wonder if we have somewhere, yeah, icons. We can change the icons color as well. So let's change those all to white. And where it says Savage IRL, we're just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste Flux2D pretty much everywhere that it asks for information because if this was for me and I was going to use this, um, that's probably what I would go with. And let's go ahead and try to find this similar color over here. I think that looks pretty close. That's what the one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth color down. And um, actually, I believe, yeah, if you go to more, you can actually get the hex value of it, which is super nice. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that and paste the hex value. So I'm just copying and pasting and I accidentally just copied that blank value. So we'll copy this again and I'm just gonna paste this in here. So let's do this again. And um, I come from a graphic design background. So this right here is super nice for people that have no expertise whenever it comes to graphic design, which is really nice. Also, we have a background that's here by default. We can actually remove that. Um, and for the background, you'd also want to set that to transparent. So whenever you would go to export this, this is what our overlay would look like for the stream. So what I'm gonna do now that I've done it, you can also, you could save it as a draft, you could favorite it and you can share it to other people. And what's really neat, and I'm gonna go ahead and get out of full screen mode here, is right here at the top, you might be able to see that it even has Flux2D in it. Well, the thing is, whenever you're typing that in, it's literally adjusting the URL of the page that you're at. So technically this is, you know, an exact page I can come back to and I can even share this with other people that may have a uh, place it account. So they could, you could create something for them and they could go in there and be like, yeah, this looks great. And then go ahead and download it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. And what that's going to do is queue it to my download section and it's going to start processing. So we'll go ahead and click download since it's done. And I'm just going to save it to my download section and we'll open that up. 
came up on the other monitor. And there we go. There is our overlay. So what I'm going to do now is take this overlay and I'm going to apply it inside of OBS so you guys can see what it looks like because it's literally just a PNG image um, and it's super easy to add. And if you guys don't know how to do that in OBS, go ahead and check out our OBS uh, tutorial for beginners because it's a great video to explain how this stuff kind of works. So yeah, I've went ahead and added it in inside of OBS and you can see on the recording, it looks like I have an overlay because I do and I created it inside of Placeit in a very quick of amount of time. Um, some of the other features that you'd be able to get out of this obviously is the ability to be able to hide stuff. So if I wanted to say remove Instagram, I can see that one's Instagram and remove it. Um, they don't have anything over here on the left hand side to denote that it's the Instagram one. Um, now you could make this slightly different. So let's say this is the third one. You could put three and then you could see, yes, that's the one I want to get rid of. And you can uncheck that and you can export it that way. Um, you can also go through here and change some of the text too. So if we wanted this text to be different, we could do that. And we have tons of customization and control. And if you want to keep up with the text that you're using, you might be able to use it in say a different section. Um, whenever you go to make other graphics, which is what we're going to continue to do inside of this video. So Let's go back to the gaming tab. And since we've got all this done, let's see about making a animated logo because that would be pretty cool. Um, so if we're keeping with the current color scheme, we're gonna want to probably go for like a, um, like a pinkish red, you know? But these colors are not, once again, to say once you hover over them, you can see they're not specific. You can change all of these, which is really cool. So I'm just going to go through here and find something that I think that looks pretty cool. And I kind of like that. It's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to scroll through this for a second and see if I find something I like. All right, so let's say that we wanted to go with this Reaper. Death Valley Reapers logo. We're just gonna go with that. Obviously, there's no rhyme or reason to why I'm using any of this. I'm mainly just trying to um, build something fairly quickly to show you how convenient and easy it is. And I'm also going to copy over that hex value for this color. That way it'll update here and it's gonna load that preview and then we should see, yeah. So now the text says Death Valley Reapers and it is red, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and update this accent color, which should update um, the accent colors on the logo, which is probably going to bring this all back together quite a bit better. And we'll see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And I'm fine with that background logo, and we're not going to worry about audio right now. Um, but there is a library of music in here that you can grab and go ahead and use with your intro um, or your logo or whatever you want to call it. But there are tons of other things. And like I said, you can go down through here as well and find and even search for different types of animated logos. You can tell they're animated by them having a kind of like a play button on the bottom right hand corner. And if you hover over them, you get to kind of see what their animations look like. But super easy. Let's go ahead and update this a little bit. So I want this part to say Flux 2D. So let's do Flux 2D and then um, we'll just do um, twitch.tv forward slash and see how that kind of turns out looking because I have a feeling that's going to look probably pretty decent. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. I would actually probably take off the um, forward slash there just to kind of bring it a little bit more cohesive and together and not look as, you know, whatever. So yeah, that looks really cool. I like the way that looks. Um, so what I'm going to do now is it says previewing changes. So we want to go ahead you need to play all your slides before downloading. So yeah, we've updated this and we even actually have a logo now, which is pretty cool. Um, and we'll pull that in a minute so we can have that, but we actually need to click play all. And what this is going to do is if you've ever messed with an editing program, this is essentially rendering all of those video files. And what's really, really cool about this is you take something like Premiere, um, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, and you're condensing them into a website. And this website gives you templates and customization and it waters it down a little bit 
it pulls all this stuff together and makes it super easy for you to do this, even if you have no idea what you're doing or you've never messed with this before. And previewing this, I actually found something that I'm not satisfied with, and that is the logo being this gray color. I want it to be more dark, but I don't want it to be black. So we're gonna go ahead with like, I guess like a grayish black, something that's not too overbearing. And yeah, see, I think that's a little bit too much. So let's pull that back just a hair. And we'll just keep letting it preview and show us those preview changes. And then we'll play the slides again. And I think that looks awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and play that again. It's gonna get really loud for a second. And then we're gonna download this. All right, so our logo has finished rendering essentially, and we can see that it looks pretty good. This is kind of what I wanted out of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and click download and this is going to add it to the download queue again and it's going to process everything and essentially give us the ability to download it and we can use it inside of a video or we could use it as like a stinger or an opening scene for our live stream so that's going to be really neat so let's go ahead and also click on this logo so i just double clicked on the logo and we can see it's actually gonna take us to a logo creator. So this would simply be just like a regular logo and we can add that to our download queue as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download and that's gonna add it to our processing. And this is going to, it looks like it might be actually downloading twice, but we'll wait on this stuff to download and we should have a video and from the looks of it, we might actually have this logo downloading twice, but we'll go ahead and look at that in just a second. So the video finished downloading and so did the logo. So we'll go ahead and save both of these. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up first. So this is the logo. And it looks like I may not have downloaded the video. Yeah, the logo just downloaded twice. So it looks like it gave us a transparent version of the logo as we can see here. And it also gave us that other version of the logo that had this background added to it. So that's why it went ahead and downloaded too. And while I'm waiting on this video to download, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the logo inside of the stream overlay as well, just so you can see how it can be added inside your stream as well. And so as you can see, we now have the logo added to the bottom left hand corner of our stream and it looks awesome, I think. And we're gonna download the video now and give that a play so you guys can see how cool that looks. That looks so cool. I never even noticed that the eyes glow red and that there is some different changing um, kind of outlines in this area of the glow and it changing, kind of almost looking like a lightning effect but that is super cool and we can see that we did all of this very quickly and we have, once again, a very cohesive design of the same color, uh, color schemes and also, you know, just the same almost kind of branding with it, which works really, really well. So let's go ahead and do a few more things to really round out this stream design. So next, I think we'll probably go ahead and look at doing a starting soon screen because I think this will look really nice for the stream as well. And what I'm gonna look for is something around kind of the same similar type of design. And I accidentally clicked on the wrong one. So let's remove loop animation and let's click on horror because I think that would go really well with what we've got. Um, yeah, that, that does not look good. So that's fine. We'll keep taking a look here. And maybe we do want something that kind of loops so we can have a constant animation um, for whenever the stream starts so we can let it run kind of as long as we want. And keep in mind, it could be the same one for a offline screen, just like this, because the thing is, is it's gonna loop and we can change the text so we could say starting soon. So let's look through some of this stuff and see if we find anything that looks pretty neat. So I'm gonna take a look through some of this stuff and see what I can find. Okay, so I think I found something and this is it right here. We're gonna take a little look at this and see what we can get. So we're going to do the same thing of Flux 2D and we're just going to paste it everywhere and see how this kind of looks. And I do have to say, it looks like it's already using, it is using the same hex code that we were using. So we can see that if we click play all, it should go ahead and prepare the video and we should be able to see what this looks like for our opening stream kind of build up. 
All right, so this is finished and we'll just go ahead and take a look at it and it says stream starting soon and has some social media ads there so you could go ahead and promote a social media platform, which is super nice. And as you can see, the way it ends is the exact same way it starts. So it can actually loop, which is gonna be something that's really nice if you wanted to add it into a scene inside of something like OBS. So you can essentially just have this video set to loop. You can obviously go in there and fine tune the music. That's something I didn't really mess with, but you could fine tune that, get a sound and a vibe that you're going for, or maybe just not use sound at all and then just play your own music. and essentially just give this little introduction that just keeps playing over and over until you're ready to start streaming. That way your viewers can jump in and be ready to watch you whenever you go, um, whenever you actually jump on your live stream. So we've covered essentially the intro, the overlay, the possibility for a logo and even like a video intro for something like YouTube or something for your clips, whether you wanted to put those on a different social media platform and we are getting really close to the point of where we're i would say we're almost done so we've got an overlay we don't have panels we also don't have an offline banner um, or a twitch banner i don't think a twitch banner is really that important because i don't believe that's something that's hardly viewed anymore compared to the way it used to be but um we'll, we'll look at that in a second so i think what we're going to do first is an offline banner and then we'll round it out with say the other two and looking at this, this is not going to be hard at all because we are getting a lot of red colors for the type of stuff that we're looking for. Um, now, I'm not a huge fan of all these fonts, but once again, that's something we can change, which is what's super awesome about this stuff. So let's go ahead and just find something. I kind of like this. Um, we'll probably change some of the font and see what we can get out of this. So let's go ahead and try this. And it gives us some options of abstract shapes. And I think this is more like computery than what we want. So let's go ahead and change this background and try to find something that kind of more fits what we're going for. I kind of like that. Um, now the text color, I do want to change this. So let's try, um, let's see, uh, twitch.tv. Let's do that in all caps too. So we'll do that. And then we'll do, um, stream has ended. And then we'll do uh, flux 2D. Let's do all caps try to keep it somewhat consistent here and we may go in and actually change some of these fonts because I don't think these fonts look as good as uh, what I would want and where the stream is ended I'm actually gonna make that white so it really stands out um, this I'm probably gonna go um, a tad darker maybe or maybe even like an off-white maybe even try purple for like twitch I'm not sure there. That's something I would mess around with a little bit. Um, let's just go with white for that. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, let's go with like an off white to like almost a dark color. And then we're gonna leave these pretty much the same. And I would go ahead and change these logos to um, probably be white or maybe like we said, an off white. Um, yeah, black's just not gonna work for that. So let's just go ahead and change these to white. Now, this is by no means a graphic design crash course because there's a lot of stuff you could do to make these look really cool. And a lot of times the templates are gonna look really good the way they are and you might just like change, say all the green colors to a red color. Um, so, you know, th there's, there's some easy ways to mess with this stuff and kind of get it to where you want it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that and yeah so this this is what i think would really round this out a, a lot for our design purposes here um let's go ahead windows v it's going to let us select it from the clipboard and yeah that's the color we want so let's also change this as well to our color that we've been using that way there's more continuity between 
all of the different design that we've done so far. So once again, I'm just copying and pasting all of this. And what I think is really going to help this out uh, probably more than anything is changing these fonts because these fonts aren't that great, if I'm being honest. So let's go with this Aver next. And we can go with like a thin one here. And then we'll go with the thick Aver next here. And then down here on these, we can go for something a little different. I'm just kind of trying to find something that really fits the theme of what we've done so far. Yeah, we'll just go with this for now. Um, like I said, this this isn't too important. Um, something that I would do, obviously, if this was like for my stream and I was gonna, and I was doing the design for it right now, um, I would make sure there was some continuity between the fonts that are being used across all the design. That's a good tip. Um, but for this, it's not that overly important for me. But, you know, I would do that. Also, one other thing that I would probably do is I'd probably scale these down a little bit. They're kind of big and it, it's not hard to scale these down. You would essentially just grab these, drag the corners in. Um, I'd put them kind of closer together so you could really see how big they are and just, you know, fine tune stuff, kind of fine tune it. And they have these little guides that help you and let you know, um, how close they are to each other and whether or not they're lined up and you can kind of find the happy medium of those there. And none of these are currently lined up, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I would just go through here. I would scale this stuff down a little bit, kind of figure out what works for you. And then whenever you're done with it, you know, uh, just go ahead and click download. We're just going to download this the way it is right now. That way the video is not super long, but this gives you a better idea of how easy it is as well to make a, stream has ended or an offline page for your live stream and going to click download just so we can open it up and see what it looks like and here we are so obviously if the text was a little bit better here um, we could also mess around with this background make it look a little bit better and even do a little bit of a um, little more color design here to make it look better but it's the ease of it. It's the fact that you can do this stuff this quick and get a lot different of a uh, design out of it. Like, I think that right there probably looks better. It's a little bit more clean, something that I'm more of a fan of, but there are just tons, you know, tons of different uh, designs you can go with to make your stream look however you think it should look. Now let's go ahead and do some Twitch panels because everybody's gotta have panels, you know? You gotta give a, a person a reason to donate to your stream, to subscribe to your YouTube channel or subscribe to your live stream. What's your computer setup? What are the rules for your chat? Um, there's a lot of, you know, different things that you can do with this as well. Um, we're going to go with something that I, I think this actually looks pretty cool. I think if we change it to our colors, it's going to look really nice. So let's go with this. And the first thing I want to say is this may say chat rules. Um, you could use this for anything. Once again, you can change the text of everything. Um, there's also the ability to add two lines of stream or of text. Don't know why I said stream, I guess, because it says it there. Um, but yeah, it's like super, super easy. So for this, we're going to go ahead and just paste this color back in. So we get our red value that we're looking for. And then our badge color, this is something we're going to kind of fine tune. So I would probably go with like a darker color like we did earlier mainly because this is going to keep that continuity um, around everything. So so instead of saying follow the stream, um, chat rules, actually for this, I probably want it, but we're gonna change it just so I can show you how useful this can be. So for chat rules, it could literally just say chat rules. And let's say um, we're gonna put YouTube or uh, Twitter. So we'll do Twitter. Um, follow me. Just say follow me on Twitter, right? So something that easy. And then this, we could literally just change. Um, let's see if they actually have a Twitter logo. I think they should. Um, yeah, you could find like a Twitter badge like this, um, that, or you could even go out and find a picture of Twitter, like a PNG, upload it and 
you could have it look however you want but that easy you could do the same thing for youtube you could put subscribe exclamation mark and then change this to youtube and then go ahead and grab the youtube's logo and once again whenever you're done go ahead click download it'll process your design and you can go ahead and add that to your twitch panels over on twitch I'll save this really quick look at it and yeah that looks really cool um, another thing i do want to mention with this as well uh, i actually didn't change this color this texture i probably wanted to left this blue in i probably would have changed it to something that was a little bit dark to give it some more contrast here yeah i think that looks pretty good and the cool thing is you can go back through these grunge check uh, textures and you can find whatever you think looks good for you so you're not you're pretty much guaranteed that nobody's going to have the exact same thing as you especially if you go in here and you really work around with it a little bit more and say change some text um, change your colors up and maybe even mess around with the logos that you're using bring in your own logo if you want to um, i feel like that is a great example and something i have to show you guys is um, what if we wanted to use this logo right here so let's go ahead and zoom this up Actually, let's leave it out a little bit because I don't want it to get messed up too much. Crop it, and yeah, so we could do this right here. We could bring in our own logo um, and essentially position it. Now, it looks a little pixelated. It could be because of the crop, um, but yeah, you could add your own logos in here or whatever else you wanted to do, and it's a really nice way of getting custom Twitch panels as well. The last thing we're going to look at is... Twitch, I believe. Cut. All right, so the last thing we're going to look at is Twitch banners because Twitch banners are cool, I guess. I, I have I don't know the last time I saw a Twitch banner on Twitch, so I may be out of touch here. Um, let's just go with something kind of simple like this. I kind of like this. We'll let this load. This is going to give us these crazy colors. Let's upload our image. Crop that down. Hopefully that doesn't look pixelated. Yeah, it doesn't look that pixelated here. And um, we'll change this to flux 2D again. And we'll just move that over here. And we'll do twitch. Yeah, we need all caps here. Twitch.tv. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scale this down and I'm going to kind of center it there. Not even centered it, I guess. Um, and then we can also have usernames and stuff pop up for social media if we wanted to use those. Let's just go ahead and turn those on. Flux 2D. Go ahead and copy all this. Okay, and this is where we get to make this look the way we want. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit Windows V so I can find that hex value, awesome. And then this, let's go for like a darker color like we were doing earlier. Actually, let's do white on that. You know what, let's do this as white. Maybe I just have to check that box. I don't know why that was doing that. And then let's put that red value down here on Twitch. And change our icon colors. I'm getting somewhere with this, right? Just, just believe in me. Okay. And then the main color. Let's see what we can get out of this. background effect let's go for like a dark red yeah that's looking cool and then this top background we actually have the ability to adjust this as well so we can give this kind of more of a gradient look to it yeah that's looking really cool so we're going to also change these to white and not too bad honestly um yeah i would i would adjust the fonts some too once again um and kind of mess with these and tweak these out to where we get to a point where 
it's a little more cohesive, but this fast, we were able to create a ton of graphics for a live stream. And as you can see, we've downloaded them all. And I'm actually gonna pull them all up in just a second and let you guys look at them really quick. I might just go ahead and throw them up all on screen so you can see what they all look like. And to be completely transparent, there's obviously some cuts inside of this video, but the recording to do all of this with some downtime waiting on these things to download is literally 38 minutes. So if you've got half an hour set aside, you kind of know what you're wanting to go for. You could hop in here and you can make a really good stream, spend $15 on Envato, place it uh, for an account for a month and really get some great stream design and have it all custom to the way you want it um, without having to pull your hair out from having to learn some of these other programs that you may not be fluent in and you may just want to say, hey, I just want to make a cool stream design and I want to stream. And the last thing, our Twitch banner looks pretty awesome for the fact that we did it in probably less than three or four minutes. And with just a little bit more tweaking customization and trying to keep some consistency and con continuity between stuff like the font and the colors, you could have a really, really cool stream design for literally only $15 and a little bit of time invested. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy that like button, get subscribed and turn on notifications for How To Tech for more videos on Twitch, on streaming, on branding, and all that other stuff that you're probably already interested in because we're gonna have tons of cool videos like that coming soon. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.